The leadership project at Israel's Oranim College brings together young adults from all over the world for a month-long academic program. We are giving them the tools to become change agents, the leadership skills, um, how to persuade people, how to tackle the difficult questions about Israel, how to combat BDS. Surprisingly, most of those who join the program aren't even Jewish, including a group from Papua New Guinea's pro-Israel Aliyah Raising NGO. I am happy that I am here and I am learning a lot of things like leadership uh, training. I am gaining the knowledge and skills of how to become a good leader in the future when I go back to Papua New Guinea. Other organizations involved include CAMERA, the Committee for Accuracy in Middle East Reporting and Analysis. I just finished a, uh, my time uh, writing op-eds for them and also uh, educating people about Israel on my campus. I think that the idea that Jewish people have a right to self-determine like any other people is shouldn't be a controversial idea. Yet opposition to that idea has been growing on U.S. campuses for years. BDS, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement Against Israel, promoted by college groups such as Students for Justice in Palestine. Around the time where they're having, you know, apartheid week or um, a BDS vote, um, I try to do whatever I can to support my friends at different universities, specifically the ones that are in my vicinity, um, even though I don't attend those schools. Another concern is the new self-described socialist and progressive wing of the Democratic Party, promoting clear anti-Israel sentiment. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib even planning a trip to Israel and the West Bank to promote a boycott against the Jewish state. Israel used to really be more of a bipartisan issue, and uh, it seems to really not be the case anymore, unfortunately. When these participants return home, they will have something to say, as the polarizing debate concerning Israel is sure to continue. Alec Pollard, I-24 News.